Lorcats Vanilla Gaming. Wir sind im West End angekommen. Jetzt wird es Zeit, dem Club der Vampire einen Besuch abzustatten und das West End zu erkunden. Der letzte Stopp war in unserem eigenen Haus im Reit anwesen. Hier haben wir auch schon alle Räume erkundet. Und jetzt gucken wir uns hier mal das West End an. Also irgendwie kommt man da wohl schon rein in das Zimmer und so Mod. It's locked. Na gut. Hier waren auch die Gegner, wo wir echt oft draufgegangen sind. Jetzt hier mal ein bisschen umgucken. Ist das eine Sackgasse oder wie? Aber wir können vorne raus. Dann gehen wir doch vorne raus. Wir können doch hier durch. Und unten. Unten. Da geht's runter. Vorne rausgehen und dann müssen wir, denke ich, komplett im Westend sein. Ja. Westend, jawohl. Hier sind wir. The Ascalon Club, the heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. So I understand exactly what that poet meant the other night. It's locked. Come on, here we must go. Come, can we must? Here can we next go. No good. We're busy. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Hmm, shops sind immer gut. Aber erzähl uns erstmal was über das West End. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. Hmm. <laughs> Are you that blind? I've seen hundreds of victims piled up in this city each week. Mr. Reed, please. Why are you so angry? I did not mean anything by it. Okay. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. <laughs> I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please share the address. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. Da habe ich einen Hinweis von dir gefunden. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids? And all the random violence? Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. <laughs> So you prefer to work at night? Yes. Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Was auch immer du mir damit sagen wolltest. Mein Französisch ist etwas eingerostet. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. London's lone gourmet? What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. <laughs> really? 
But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. Okay, let's go over to them. Shop. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Haben wir zum Verkaufen? Wir verkaufen doch keine Waffe. Blonder. Na, das kann man zerlegen. So, was hast du für mich? Ich brauche Griffe. Zimmer 70. Zimmer 70 ist günstig. Puh, der ist teuer. Warum ist der so teuer? Egal. Vielleicht mal doch mal, wir haben, brauchen irgendwie Fernkampfwaffe, ja. Nehmen wir mal mit, schade nicht. Wer bist du? Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. Well, I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Mm -hmm. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. Lass mich raten, gegen Vampire? What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. Must I doch. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. <laughs> ich bin auch nicht mehr ganz, was ich war. <laughs> Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. <laughs> you need some rest. Ich zu you should try to sleep. Oh, da jetzt nicht, oder? Okay. Das war unser Anwesen. Ich mal orientieren hier am Westend. Mal wieder den Blick nach oben richten. Da haben wir auch nichts. Okay, da gehen wir schon in den Temple Garden. Ja, das klingt eher, als wäre da schon <lacht> wieder Feinde. Ähm, ne, wir konnten bitte erstmal best fertig. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. 
Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. <sighs> My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> Die Tochter. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yep. Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? <laughs> Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. Adoption, das macht Sinn. Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, I'll have my death to face. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16, though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. Yes, bizarre. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time, even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. <laughs> How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. 
And please, don't tell my mother. <laughs> what exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? <laughs> nee. Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me. Or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Hmm. Your mother has refused to turn you into a vampire. Tell me more about it. Each time we argue, Mother expresses the same fear. She wants me to remain alive and full of joy, rather than become melancholy and immortal. She claims you can't have one without the other. It's pure selfishness. Hmm. I hope. That's it with right, Mama. Your mother has walked this earth for much longer than you or I. She is wise, and we should not ignore her advice when we disagree with it. But why shouldn't I be allowed to forge my own experience? There can't be only one righteous way to deal with eternity. It's your mother's choice. As daughters and sons, we have to accept the decisions our parents make for us despite our own wishes. I love my mother and have accepted everything from her. Even that she named me Charlotte when it was not my original name. Does it bother you? No. Whoever I was when I was born, I am now Charlotte Ashbury. It hurts as much as it makes me proud to know that's the name my mother will read on my tombstone. Yeah. Why do you still hope to become a vampire in spite of your mother's refusal? It's the immortal aspect of vampires that interests me. The world won't improve unless women take charge. I'm convinced of that. You're obviously a clever woman with a good education and a brilliant future. But have you thought about the price you'd have to pay? The loneliness? The necessary masquerade? Is it not true of every high position? To change this world and make it a better place, one needs time on one's side. Tell me, Charlotte, how do you plan to achieve eternal life? Since you've obviously given it a lot of thought. I won't give up. You have no idea how determined I am, sir. I may contract a deadly disease. I may throw myself under a carriage just to be saved by her sweet kiss. That's a disturbing answer, young lady. And the worst part of it is, I know you speak the truth. There are less dangerous ways, Doctor. Instead of throwing myself under a horse like Emily Davison, I could just throw myself into your arms. <lacht> Nein, das können wir nicht machen, weil wir machen eigentlich jetzt den Run ohne einen NPC zu schaden, sprich den Pazifisten ran. Never. That would be betraying your mother's trust. She would never forgive us. For sure. But look on the bright side. We would have eternity to reconcile. Or an eternity to run away from your mother's mighty wrath. Quite a terrifying idea, don't you think? Yes. I think it's wiser to let go of that part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. 
I suspect you may see her before me. Ja, eigentlich hat doch die Mama gesagt, dass ich zurückzukommen zu ihr. Da wäre das Hauptquartier. Was haben wir hier sonst noch? Schade, die Türen sind alle zu. Ist das ein Gegner? Tatsache. Ich bräuchte eigentlich Blut. Ist der allein? Wieder ordentlich Blut für die nächsten Kämpfe. Ja, schauen wir später noch her. Ja. Erstmal gucken wir uns vor allem auch das Hauptquartier der Vampire an. Ich bin schon richtig auf wieder Richtung Westen, oder? Oh, nicht? Ah, je, je. So viel Schaden, das ist echt nicht mehr schön. 27. Ja. Ne, das ist mir zu risky. Ich krieg den nicht klein. Okay, jetzt mal wieder in der City. Puh. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Oh, you're just crank. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Yeah, can we drink like hockey hard? Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? 
Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. Sure, beer or something. We're really sound. What happened to you? The rats. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me, or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. Sprich zu schön, wenn man so weg ist. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it. Yes. Please help. Und wie soll man helfen? What is the local news hereabouts, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. Man, bist du hilfreich. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was strong, proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before. Before. It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. Bist du jetzt ein Vampir oder nicht? Ich bin verwirrt. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Die Rückseite hier von denen hier im Gebäude oder was? Ah, das schaut aus, wie wenn es da einen Kanal runtergehen wird. Ah, eigentlich wollte ich bloß die Tür aufsperren. Nein, ich will da nicht runter. Noch nicht, nee, jetzt noch ganz was. Ich glaube, wir gehen jetzt echt erstmal zu dem Ampierfürsten. Ich will das jetzt wissen. Warum sollen wir herkommen? Warum? I'm sure Kaloon Russell has no interest in such a conventional menu. <lacht> Ach Gott, wir suchen Restaurants für den Feinschmecker. Wie stehen wir denn hier? Wer ist denn? Genau, den haben wir ja geheilt. Mein Gott, da gibt es so viele, die ich noch gar nicht kennengelernt habe. Wir haben auch noch eine ganze Reihe an Kranken, die wir ich auch noch heilen müssen. Jetzt müssen wir die Distrikte nicht ins Chaos abrutschen. Jetzt schauen wir erstmal ins Vampir-Hauptquartier. Mal schauen, was uns der Club von Ascalon zu erzählen hat. Do 
you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. <laughs> Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Der liegen Wachen vom Briefe. Ja, so ein Kampf. Ah, was ist A? Come to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. So, jetzt sehen wir noch ein bisschen um. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. Then, Dr. Come on, I'm to read it. Ein Brief? Die Geschichte und Sinn des Ascalon Clubs. Der Ascalon Club ist eine Vereinigung von Gentlemen, die im Geheimen die Interessen der Krone beschützen. Ich gründete ihn 1835. Um das Andenken an meinen Schöpfer William Marshall, dem ersten Earl of Pembroke und Warenbeschützer von England, zu ehren und aufrechtzuerhalten. Alle Mitglieder des Clubs müssen von guter Abstammung und markloser Moral sein. Club der Adligen. Seit der Club sterblicher Mitglieder akzeptiert, die als Kandidat für die Unsterblichkeit ordnungsgemäß beobachtet und bewertet werden, ist das Ziel des Clubs, ehrwürdige Traditionen und Verhaltensweisen in den guten Gesellschaftskreisen der Vampire zu etablieren doch ebenso die imperiale Vorherrschaft Englands zu fördern und zu erweitern. Wir sind die wahre Elite der britischen Gesellschaft. Wir sind Ascalon, die heilige Lanze, die St. Georg, der Schutzherr Englands, führte, als er den Drachen erschlug. Wir als Lanzenträger schwören, die Interessen des Weltreiches zu verteidigen. Mhm. Abgeschlossen. Schicke Ritter Rüstung. Warum kann ich mir das Schwert nicht nehmen von der Ritterrüstung? Das hätte ich gern. Ich finde die Axt zwar lustig, aber so ein schickes Schwert. Nein, das ist der Hinterausgang, oder? <lacht> ja, na klar. Ja, halt, geh mal wieder rein. Also, mal den Hinterausgang bin ich jetzt aufgesperrt. <lacht> naja. Aber hier stand wirklich ein Kampf statt. Also, die Frage ist, ob sie die Wache von Brüven reingelassen haben, weil sie sie einfach platt machen wollten. Oder ob sie sich gewaltsam Eintritt verschafft haben. Eine Waffe? Ein guter Dolch. Zeig mal hier. Aha. Ich werde mal überlegen, ob ich nicht den abgenutzten Schlagstock nehme. Wartet denn der Herr auf mich? Wo bist du? Da stehen mehrere. viel Karten gespielt. Noch eine schickere Rüstung. Ein Schlüssel. Keller des Ascalon Clubs. Wo auch immer es in den Keller geht. Good evening, 
Der Ascalon Club. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bancher was no match for him. Here, here, here. here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Asprey expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Hmm. Ehrlich sollten wir da nicht sein, huh? She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. <laughs> Und warum ich? Nur weil Fergal tot ist? Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Hmm. No. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Natürlich. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. Hmm? It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. With blood, or what? I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation.
mit Blut unterschrieben. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Okay. Yes, my dear, my Lord Redgrave. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparer. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Let's see, my bit more. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Doctor Swansea? Auspionier, you were spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building, but once he found you, Fergal kept me informed until you put an end to his mission. Wer oder was war Fergal? Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bancher was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Vulcod, all muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed, ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Ne, werewolfe habe ich ja andere gesehen. You do know I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Was ist mit den Skulls? Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied Skulls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Hmm. Jimmy, my too. Skulls are malevolent and disgusting creatures. I knew I was right to induct you, hmm. Doctor Reed. You would not dare lie to me on such a vital <laughs> topic, now, would you? So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Doctor Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Oh, I need to see some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city. What is this new malevolence? Skulls have been spotted everywhere in London. We are losing this fight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. <laughs> it's quite unsettling. As a doctor, I am more used to being the observer than the subject observed. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. 
I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Are you a member of the club? Yes, I am. And I have been for many years. And will be until the day I die. <laughs> Are you sick? Personally, I consider my advancing years are a sickness in itself. My body is slowly abandoning me, Dr. Reed. <laughs> what can you tell me about it? It's not really my place to give you such information. I am merely a mortal member, and a dying one at that. Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. Yeah, um, unsterblich zu werden. So you asked for membership. I have been a member of many clubs in many countries. But I must admit, this one is my favorite. Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? I would not dare speak of our chairman without his consent. Mr. Dawson, of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Hmm. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. But they are our enemies. They are not mine, Dr. Reed. Hmm, you are a Mitglied des Clubs. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. <laughs> Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan? Timor. Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. <laughs> a formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. Hmm. Immer den hier zustimmen. Complete isolation has proven Pretty effective sir. throughout history. But the death toll has always been a high one. I am glad you understand the concept of necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs. And it needs it now. <laughs> Die Mauer, <laughs> tatsächlich. Dann reden wir uns mal durch, oder? Mit dir kann man nicht sprechen. Mit dir auch nicht. Mit dem nicht. Und mit dem nicht. Okay. Und mit dir kann man da noch was. How is your investigation going, Dr. Reed? Time is our enemy. I have a few questions for your lordship. All right, but be quick. You made me swear on the blood of William Marshall during my initiation ceremony. Why was that? William Marshall was the most glorious knight who ever lived. He served five kings, and was a living example of probity for all. And he was my maker. William Marshall was a vampire. 
Is this some sort of joke? Wait. Could he be my maker? That would be joyful news. For it would mean he still walks among us. But alas, the great knight has left this world for good. Hmm. Why is his blood so sacred to the Ascalon Club? He was simply the greatest defender of the realm we have ever known. I fought by his side at the Battle of Preston, and he made me his progeny following the fight. Freak. Und die große Jagd? Ich finde ja gerade quasi die zweite Stadt. What can you tell me about the Great Hunt? It's a major concern. And I'm convinced we'll only get a satisfactory conclusion by putting an end to the epidemic. Klingt sinnvoll. What about the risk of a full-scale attack here? Jeffrey McCullum is a daring leader. That is exactly why so many of our number have left the country until things improve. But not me. I founded this club. I'll die defending it. I have already met Jeffrey McCullum. I am certain he will persist until he has killed every last vampire. The Guard's current successful recruitment campaign is driven by the ravenous behavior of the Skulls. I see. So without the epidemic creating Skulls, the Guard could not convince anybody of our presence. Exactly. Once we have put the epidemic behind us, we need only wait until the Guard grows old and weak. Time will once again become our ally. <laughs> Toller Plan. May I ask you about the mortal who attended my initiation? Mr. Aloysius Dawson. A member of the club does not normally ask questions about other members. We trust each other mutually. So he really is a member then? Indeed. Only the most eminent members are allowed to attend such ceremonies. Even if I admit some of us fled during the first hours of the Great Hunt. But Mr. Dawson is mortal. Are you not afraid he might reveal who you are? Especially to your enemies. Aloysius Dawson is a man of his word, as are all of us. This is the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. We do not grant access to the unworthy. Okay. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Godspeed, Dr. Reed. We are counting on you. So, then have we now something we learned. Über den Ascalon Club. Ich komme ich jetzt in die Keller? Das würde mich schon interessieren. Keller, Keller, Keller. Kann man jetzt mit dem da reden? Ne, er ist weg. Er ist wahrscheinlich jetzt auch oben. Ne, da steht er. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. Then Dr. Reed. Der geht's ja bloß raus. Dann gehen wir doch da mal raus. Okay, jetzt haben wir den Ascaran Club entdeckt und wissen zumindest mal, was Sache ist und sind Mitglied geworden. Uh. Wahrscheinlich anstatt von Fergal, um gegen den gegen die Gegner zu kämpfen. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Schauen wir mal, ob wir hier irgendwo in die Kette bekommen. Das würde mich jetzt echt interessieren. Wenn wir schon den Schlüssel finden, irgendwie muss es doch da reingehen. Kein Eingang. Untersuchen Sie den Bürger. Und wo ist der Bürger? Mal die Karte checken. Wie? Einfach so. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. 
Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. This is the Hinweis, den wir Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Genau, in dem Park, da waren wir schon an der Tür gestanden, ja. Oh, hier sitzt jemand. Kennen wir den schon? Das ist die verwirrte Dame. Rats. Ah. Tasty rats. <lacht> Those clever rodents are cautious now. They won't approach. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats. <lacht> rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. I must go. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Der Infektionsherd. Mhm. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Oh, where is David? Verdammt, die Scheiße. Jetzt kommt da noch einer. Ich muss mich hier selbst zuhören, dass noch einer kommt. So viel Schaden. Das ist echt nicht mehr feierlich. Nein, ich muss gerade echt keine Lust. Ich, ja, nee. ich muss die Waffe erst upgraden. Das ist so echt anstrengend. Ja, gehen wir erstmal. Das war unser Anwesen. Yep. Ja, schnell die Waffe upgraden. Ja, ja, hat gerade mit uns gesprochen, okay. Schauen wir mal, die Axt, die müssen wir doch jetzt hoch. Nein, mir fehlt halt Eingriff. Ah, das wäre schon ein deutlicher Sprung. Ich jetzt mit dem Flock aus. Vielleicht auch einer. Aber ich würde sagen, dann machen wir jetzt erstmal Pause und schauen uns an, wie wir da vorbeikommen im nächsten Run. Danke fürs Zuschauen und Servus.